Hello friends, welcome to my channel Sushant Chesswise. Today we are going to look at a game study based on the play in the center and how sacrifice is made in order to generate play on the open file. <coughs> Today we are going to look at a game where the open file is created by means of sacrifice. I have mentioned before also there are two kinds of sacrifices. One active sacrifice and other passive sacrifice. In active sacrifice the piece is given up directly the piece goes and captures something or is given up for free and we use the same piece to attack the opponent instantly. But in passive sacrifice, the piece which is attacked, instead of doing anything with that, we play some other piece and the piece is given up there and then itself. Let's go to the game and see. e4, e6, d4, d5. Once again, we have the French defense and here black played the move nf6. This is called the classical variation of French defense. Now e5 is one of the main moves. In this game, white played the move ed5. Generally, the best continuation is e into d5. Many a times, white uses this move order to reach the exchange variation where black has committed the knight on f6 so that he can go bishop g5 play the bishop to d3 and knight to e2 and create pressure on the uh, d5 pawn white also intends to go qd2 long castle and attack on the black king which usually castle short so after the move pd5 black played the move knight d5 nothing wrong with knight d5 after knight d5 ed5 can be played and we can say that the play would be roughly level after ed5 but white will never take nd5 so early unless he gets something useful white just develops nf3 main disadvantage of knight into d5 is the c8 bishop will remain shut and here black would have generated play by the move bb4 bb4 bd2 then going knight c6 and putting pressure on d4 Later on, he can do castle and try to break the position by e5. Black played the move c5. Generally, an early activity by the side who is behind in development or who is second has lot of risks because the side playing first, firstly he has the move and already we see that white is already ahead in development. So. Such an early break in the center before completing development can be a risky idea. Here White found a way to exploit this move c5. White to play, White went for the move knight d5. Very interesting. Now he is forcing black to choose between two evils. If queen comes to d5, then we see that the queen will be already out. White has an idea based on uh, the move queen d5 and to ed5 is aiming at an exchange variation kind of center where the d pawn will become isolated. So here comes the move bishop b5 check bd7 and now the move queen e2. Very important move. After b7 d into c5 can be taken and after the move queen e7 again here we can go queen into e7 bishop into e7 bishop d7 check knight d7 and dc well we can say that black has one extra development which white will instantly cover by the move bishop e3 but after long castle and doubling the rooks on the d5 white will put lot of pressure on the d5 pawn and white will have a long lasting initiative in the position based on the pawn on d5. So this was white's idea. If he did, he could have perhaps worked with the move bishop b5 check. In the game, black opted for the move queen takes d5. Which looks like a decent option because c4 would allow queen e4 check followed by cd4. So black thought that he is still fine over here and he is already intending to go cd4 followed by knight c6 bb4 and looking to complete his development right now 
development is roughly level white had an idea in mind bishop e3 instantly gaining a tempo now the threat is if black was knight c6 then d into c5 and after bishop c5 queen into d5 followed by winning the bishop so white has a threat of gaining the pawn on c5 right now and he blocks the e file from any queen checks also white can also try the move c4 in many cases another thing white has the move bb5 after bd7 he can consider the move c4 then when the bishop will go outside the range of the scope of the c4 pawn so the bishop will not become bad so that could be also interesting black goes for the move cd4 which i think is almost forced and now comes the move knight d4 at this point many would say that what has happened the position is still of roughly level nothing much is happening but white is eyeing for two kinds of ideas here one if black plays any move like knight c6 then white has the strong move knight b5 see because of extra development what has happened now black is always struggling to cover up with white's initiative now see threat is knight c7 check if queen in 2d1 then rook d1 white will suddenly have three versus black's one and it's impossible to stop knight c7 any queen move like queen e5 which tries to cover the c7 square may also not work because see already the move is white here so white can consider here moves like qd2 which will allow long castle queen d2 helps to protect the bishop on e3 and white can consider the move f4 immediately in the game black played the move a6 black thinks that right now white is unable to develop the bishop on f1 white although has two developments is not in a position to exploit anything soon he will have knight c6 b7 castle bishop can even go to c5 but white understood the point that at this point he should not waste moves and look to develop the pieces actively even if he has to give up the pawn white found the strong move bishop e2 usually e2 is not a very active place for the bishop but here it develops the piece the bishop wants to go more to a more active diagonal it wants to go to the f3 a8 diagonal and the queen's moves are going to get wasted especially in c6 is very bad because then comes bishop f3 and if queen tries to keep the knight protected by qd6 then knight c6 bc queen d6 bd6 and bishop c6 check and the rook on a8 would be lost so already we can say white is taking over the initiative white is able to force moves on black so white black played qg2 maybe after the moves a6 and qg2 the position has already gone in white's favor and we can say that black is going to lose grip over the game now white played bishop f3 queen goes to g6 and white to play what should white to here i hope you must have got the move and also the plan for white white's plan is very simple get the rooks connected and use the move rook g1 at the right moment for that he needs to just move the queen and go long castle queen has choice between e2 and d2 squares white is eyeing the open d file here so queen d2 long castle looks like a most obvious way when rook can either have place on e1 or rook can go to g1 we can say that already this white position is close to winning now white played qd2 black finds himself in a very difficult situation most of the developing moves are not possible see bishop on c8 cannot move due to bb7 knight c6 loses to knight c6 bc bishop c6 only option b7 will allow strong initiative of the move long castle and if black tries to castle short then after the move rook g1 if queen g5 queen f6 then bg5 winning the bishop on e7 
and we can see that the queen has no good place to move. Queen can't go to h6, can't go to h5, can't go to f5, can't go to e4. So this position becomes winning for white. Oof, played by black actually adds well to the fire we can say. Black went for the move e5. Idea is very logical. He wants the knight away and then go for the move knight c6. He is also opening the bishop on c8. So black is trying to develop his queen side quickly. So he wants knight c6, b6, maybe rook d8. c6 square we don't want to allow black so easily. White to play. Very important moment. What should white play now? Those who are aware of the concept of sacrifice, we have discussed after completing the development when just around one rook is left to be developed, that stage we identify as after completing development. So after completing development, we have got two main plans. One, we try to break the center, which we also do against the king which is in the center. And we take the pieces ahead to the center or to the king side. So here white is centrally very well placed. He doesn't want to move his knight. And white wants to open the center here, which falls into his plan as per the rule of development also and keeping the black's weakness of king in the center into account. So white here makes a passive sacrifice. Passive sacrifice simply means the move is not passive, but the piece is given at that point itself. So white found the strong move long castle, which not only develops the rook, puts the king to safety, but invites the other rook into the attack. And now we see that if the knight is not taken, black is still struggling to develop the pieces. And if the knight is taken, white will complete all his development and he will soon look for combinations. So e into d4, bishop d4. By the way, we are following a very famous game by Aaron Nimzovich. This is Nimzovich white and Alapik black. So, <coughs> we know Nimzovich was a great thinker. He has a whole book devoted uh, called the My System, in which he discusses what are his thoughts about opening central control, open files, which is the case here, and various positional aspects. Here now what has happened is white is already about to make some combinations. Rook g1 is the threat and bishop is also about to move. Black to play here. Black went for the move knight c6. Move knight c6 allows white to make a forced combination and white wins the game. Meanwhile, let us look at some other continuations. One of the other continuation, b6, which instantly fails to the move bishop b7. Only other move which I find decent is the move bishop e7, but to which white can simply play rook h e1, stopping castle when e7 bishop is handy. This is one choice. Second, we can do the move rook g1, forcing the queen to move after move like qf5. White can play bishop into g7, opening the queen's line and after bishop f3 we can just take bh8, threatening rook g8, which will eventually lead to an instant match. See, after bg7, queen f3, bishop h8. Just have a look at this position. Now, materially, we can say black is not much down. What has happened? Look at the king on e8. Rook g8 is about to be met now. After rook g8, bf8, we have choice between rook e1 and qd8. qd8 is instead made. And this position is already using for black. No doubt, white such a strong player could find the combination very easily. We already know the concept of development. White has 1, 2, 3, 4 and this rook is also open right now. So we can count 5 also. But as it is 4 versus 2, move is white's king is in the center so we can say that white has around three extra developments plus move so it means combination is going to happen and white beautifully uses two open files in this case the first moves which come to mind is rh1 check there is bb6 controlling the d8 square and identical square geometrical like bb6 is the move bishop f6 
instantly covering the d8 square the thread is qd8 nd8 ugd8 right and white keeps the proof rook h1 in his hand because after b7 we want to use qd8 to mate but first we jump into c6 so we see that after bf6 in all variations white is able to win the game let's look at the lines one by one in the game black played a queen f6 let's look at the move bishop e7 after the move bishop e7 the finish is elegant bishop takes c6 check b takes c6 and qd8 check it's forced to take bd8 when rook d8 might this kind of simple but elegant combinations are possible whenever both the files are there in the center are in our control and we are attacking the opponent's king which is caught in the center after the move bishop e6 here also comes bishop c6 check b c and again queen d8 mate rook d8 and rook d8 mates so the only way is to capture the bishop queen takes f6 so this bishop f6 was a strong we can say line opening and then at the same time it was decoy so now comes rook c1 check and in all variations we see that black gets mated after the move bishop e6 queen d7 mates after the move knight e7 again queen d8 mates after the move knight e5 it looks like we cannot mate on d8 because of the queen but rook e5 check queen e5 queen d8 mates so the choice is only bishop e7 after which in the game white played bishop c6 check of course bishop can't be taken because of qd8 mate black had seen the move king f8 but white had calculated further now comes the simple move queen d8 check forces the bishop to take the queen and after bd8 re8 checkmate so we can basically say after the move ed4 black never got any chance to recover in that position but we can already say that by that time black had lost many moves and he was struggling in the game so this was about three factors lead in development how to control open file and the passive sacrifice which helped you i hope you are enjoying these lessons do like share and subscribe the channel thanks for your time